Hello and welcome to my 2021 Terrapin Mountain 50K course video and race report. The Terrapin Mountain 50K took place in Big Island, Virginia last weekend on March 20th, 2021. It was a great race and I hope you enjoy my course videos and photos as well. If you'd like to see more of these types of trip reports, please like, subscribe, or comment and look to the end of the video, I will be back with some specific comments, gear advice, and other notes about the race. Enjoy. Terrapin 50k, about two miles in, mile and a half in, just off the road, onto the trail now. Was a little bit of muddy runoff. I keep moving, warming up already from the 30s. in now. Terrapin Mountain 50k. Quite a steady uphill. Some beautiful creeks. It's a little bit muddy but not too bad. Just trying to pace this climb. I'm looking forward to bombing some long downhills. Mile five, just past the first aid station. Huge downhill coming off the mountain. Over a mile long at least. Still going downhill. Trying to keep a steady pace without blowing up too bad. Lots of climbing to go. So Dr. Horton at the top. See you again later. Down we go. Terrapin Mountain, still on the road. Mile seven ish. Lots of downhill. Hoping I didn't blow up too hard, go too fast. But it's feeling pretty smooth. Went from like a 15 plus pace down to. 1240 overall, so I think we're in great shape with cutoffs and all that kind of thing. Moving along, absolutely beautiful out, perfect weather, warming up a bit. Rolling along, Terrapin 50k, March 20, 2021.
came out in 50K. We're 11 and a half miles in. Nice little climb, warming up. Beautiful day. So far, so good. There's a small creek crossing. We had one in the beginning, about two miles in. I just went through that one. This one's not as bad. Probably could have got through it without even getting it wet, but feeling pretty good. Miles 12. Still climbing. Twelve and a half. Some really neat little single track as we're climbing up. A lot of forest roads before this, but nice to be on this beautiful trail. Sun's coming out, warming up for sure. Feeling pretty good. Almost 13 miles in. Terrapin 50k. Terrapin Mountain 50K, 14 miles in, holding a 1342 average pace, which is pretty good if I can just keep steady. A lot of Jeep roads, some really nice trail sections out here. You can see the mountains behind me. Plugging away, feeling pretty good. So glad to take the long sleeve off. Stopped and did that for a minute or two. Game changer. So we're about mile 18 and out of nowhere, quite a bit of snow. A little bit of snow and ice on the trail and up in this green area. Everything changed pretty quick. But the temperature feels great. The sun is blasting. Therapin 50K mile. 20 update. I think we've just about summited this ridge area. Seems to be heading back down to the Camping Gap aid station. Then there's a final climb up Terrapin Mountain. It's only one hard cut off, 215, mile 25.6, I think. And we've got more than two hours to get to that. So in really good shape with the cutoffs having a good day overall it's amazing that this snow just appears out of nowhere basically in certain sections up here as we get higher up even though there's all this green beautiful course beautiful support beautiful day beautiful mountains my quads are not so beautiful right now but we got some left in the tank and keep pressing. Well, this is kind of wild. Mile 20 and a half. And we are running through some snow and slush now. Head it back down towards camping gap. Last big climb. Yep, yep. Let me get out of your way. You got it. Keep crushing, keep crushing. Here we are, Terrapin 50K. 
day, mile 22, last big climb of the race, I believe, up to the summit of Terrapin Mountain. Grade eight station, just had a pierogi and a grilled cheese and some potato chips. Refilled the water, getting a little behind on hydration because it's been so cold today. Didn't feel as thirsty, but we're getting this done and getting it done ahead of schedule. So that's always a good thing. Neat little climb up here, the summit of Terrapin Mountain, about 22 plus miles into it now. Really neat greenery, no snow up here. One stout little climb, make the final cutoff after mile 25. We are rolling. Doing very well today. Beautiful day. Great volunteers. Great to be out here. Approaching the summit of Terrapin Mountain. Last climb of the race. Last big climb anyways. Neat little trail leading up through here. We went from snow on the other mountain to this beautiful green canopy moss. And a straight up climb. Good times. Beautiful day. Terrapin Mountain 50K. Here we are. That's mile 23. Took the little detour. Got down a little bit of distance to see the Terrapin Rocks view. Blue Ridge Parkway far off in the distance. Neat little ridge coming off of Terrapin Mountain. Somewhere around 24 miles in, give or take a half mile. Nice little ridge trail winding down to the last aid station. And then it should be downhill, literally the rest of the way. So, Hoping to make up some time from all the climbs and end up with a strong finish. Terrapin Mountain 50K. Oh, here's a nice little tunnel of greenery going through now. Really beautiful, all the microclimates here today. A lot of Jeep road, but a lot of little trail sections like this that are really neat. And then the snow area. Another beautiful little overlook. See the Blue Ridge Parkway in the distance. Little beautiful mountain range. No racks. Finishing the terrapin. 
somewhere around mile 25, I believe. We've got a bit of a rocky down patch here. But we should be heading all the way down the rest of the way. These rocks just kind of came out of nowhere. But when they continue down for quite a way. Gotta be careful here and put the video away for now. So we just left the last aid station about a half mile, mile back. I mistakenly thought the rest of this last five miles was all downhill. As we could see, that's not the case. But eventually this is gonna kick us out onto the road, Jeep road. And should be downhill and flat from there for a few miles going to the finish. I will check again at the creek crossing, which I didn't film the first time. So it was early in the race, first two miles and came up kind of sudden and just felt like getting through it, but we'll film it this time. Stay tuned. Terrapin 50K. Terrapin 50K, about two miles to the finish. Creek crossing. Feels pretty good if I don't fall. Terrapin 50K finish. This is gonna be feel good to be done with. Great race. Great race. Hello again, I hope you enjoyed the course videos and photos from the Terrapin Mountain 50K. As you can see behind me, you have the finisher's blanket, which was awarded this year. Normally it's a Patagonia shirt, the one I'm wearing from the 2020 virtual edition of the race, uh, but there was some issues due to the pandemic of getting the shirts processed. So I got a wonderful blanket. Also this beautiful ceramic mug behind me is given to you at the start of the race as well. I would really like to thank uh, Clark Zealand and the EcoX Sports team for putting on a COVID safe race from packet pickup to the finish. I would also like to applaud the volunteers at this race. Just amazing, uh, regardless of COVID conditions or not. Amazingly supportive volunteers. I, I couldn't believe there was grilled cheese, pierogies at, at one of the aid stations. All the aid stations were amply su supplied. Um, when you run a race under COVID conditions, you should be prepared to do it alone and have your own support. But they really went above and beyond in a very safe manner. Everyone was wearing masks, followed the protocols, uh, runners and volunteers as well. Having said that, uh, as to the race itself, it was a 7,000 feet of climb on, on my Garmin as advertised. I would say it, it is a substantial amount of climb for a normal 50K or really any race, but uh, it was a bit of a forgiving climb. What I mean by that is it was not, most of the climbs were not very steep. It was several miles of gradual climb, which can hit you differently than uh, a straight up steep climb where you're on all fours or something like that, as I've encountered in some of these mountain races. It was a, massive downhill section after the first aid station a mile four probably a five mile downhill i ended up ticking off splits of 840 to 930 during that time as it flattened out 
I slowed down a little bit, but I probably went out too fast. That might've been a mistake, but just know if you run this race, have confidence that you do have that huge five mile section, a very smooth forest trail, uh, a road and trail to, to get through and make up some time. Uh, I, I felt comfortable with the, with the cutoffs. Obviously I stopped and took a lot of videos. Some of the videos I was moving, some of the still photos, I was kind of taking it all in. Uh, I'd also comment, it's really neat is the microclimates, as you noted uh, in the videos, you go from very plush greenery to uh, snow and, and, and ice in some places. Uh, the temperature went from the 30s to the 50s. It was a beautiful day and I had a wonderful time. As for gear, I wore a hydration vest, as you saw in the video, just the bottles. I would not say a hydration bladder would ever be necessary for this race because the uh, aid stations are quite close to, to get refills on things and very well supported race. I saw some people use poles. They could be helpful um, if you're used to using poles. There are not any steep sections that demand them, but if you uh, are using them in a comfortable way on steady climbs, I'd say go for it. So again, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, look for future race videos. If you have any questions, reach out. And once again, thank you, uh, Clark Zeeland, the race director, Dr. Horton, and all the volunteers. Had a wonderful time in Virginia once again, and can't wait to get back to the mountains. Yeah.